Hello students, welcome to tutorinvestor.com. In the last video, we have talked about four working of four stroke SI engine that is petrol engines or spark ignition engine. Now in this video, we are going to talk about four stroke CI engine. Those are compression ignition engine. So these are basically a diesel engine. These are what diesel engine. Now, let us understand how the diesel engine works. So, so like we have seen the auto cycle, basically this is what, this is a diesel cycle. This is what a diesel cycle. Okay. Now the, of course, parts are same. You are having a cylinder and the piston inlet and exhaust wall. Now, in case of, if you remember, if you have seen my previous video, the spark plug the spark plug so yape spark plug in case of si engine right ci engine mein spark plug nahi rehta hai kya rehta hai fuel injector kya rehta hai fuel injector so this is first important point you have to remember now so name of the strokes are same suction compression expansion exhaust okay so how the process is going to take place suction stroke compression stroke expansion and then exhaust right now again it's a four stroke engine so there will be four strokes of piston or two revolutions of crankshaft okay right now let us talk about a suction stroke so what is going to happen during suction stroke so during suction stroke again hum jo explanation karenge teen cheezon pe dhyan rakhenge inlet aur exhaust valve ki wall position kya hai open hai ki close hai second what is happening inside the cylinder and third mein baat karunga how the piston is moving is it clear okay now in case of suction stroke the inlet wall is open exhaust wall is closed your piston is moving from top dead center to bottom dead center thereby decreasing the pressure inside the cylinder below the atmosphere that's why the air from the atmosphere it rushes inside the cylinder okay abhi aapko yahan pe kya dhyan dena hai wo samajhte hain if you remember in case of si engine fuel and air mixture it is the intake inside the cylinder it is coming inside the cylinder okay and in case of si engine who is supplying this carburetor carburetor okay now we are talking about ci engine in case of ci engine or diesel engine only 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 air comes inside the cylinder this is the first part ओके okay? और जो फ्यूल सप्लाई करेगा वो फ्यूल पंप सप्लाई करेगा कौन सप्लाई करेगा फ्यूल पंप वो हम आगे देखेंगे इज इट क्लियर ओके दिज आर डिफरेंसेस यू हैव टू नोट डाउन अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग इन केस ऑफ एसा इंजिन एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर कम्स इन साइड दिलेंडर एंड हुई सप्लाइंग एयर फ्यूल मिक्सर कार्बिरेटर इन केस ऑफ एसा इंजिन यू आर हैविंग स्पार्क प्लग ओके नाउ इन केस ऑफ सी आई इंजिन you are having a fuel injector only air it is coming inside the cylinder other things are same that during the suction stroke inlet wall is open exhaust wall is closed piston is moving from top dead center to bottom dead center thereby air is coming inside the cylinder now let us move to the next that is the compression stroke so during the compression stroke the inlet and exhaust wall are closed right piston is moving from bottom dead center to top dead center thereby it is going to pressurize the air inside the cylinder abhi tak fuel aaya hai nahi hum kya kar rahe compress kisko kar rahe we are compressing only the air now note that here one point the air is compressed to such a temperature Of course, कोई भी अगर एयर हम कॉम्प्रेस कर रहे हैं तो उसका प्रेशर और टेम्परेचर क्या हो रहा है इंक्रीज हो रहा है प्रेशर और टेम्परेचर क्या हो रहा है इंक्रीज हो रहा है सो वी आर कॉम्प्रेसिंग दर टू सच लेवल दैट इफ एट द एंड ऑफ कॉम्प्रेशन स्ट्रोक इफ फ्यूल इज 
injected inside the cylinder the temperature of air it should be such that the temperature of the air temperature of the air it should be equal to equal to or greater than greater than self ignition temperature of fuel this is a most important point in compression stroke agar aapko ye point dhyan mein aaya other things are very easy okay abhi dekho in case of si engine humne kya kiya tha spark to hame chahiye kyunki hame fuel burn karna hai to wahan pe spark lagta hai yahan pe spark lage kya nahi hai तो अगर हमें फ्यूल बर्न करना है तो हमें टेम्परेचर तो उसको कुछ इनपुट हीट करने के लिए तो कुछ करना पड़ेगा तो क्या करते हैं यहाँ पे एयर को ही इतना कॉम्प्रेस कर देते हैं कि जो एयर का टेम्परेचर होगा इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू सेल्फ इग्निशन टेम्परेचर ऑफ फ्यूल व्हाट यू मीन बाय सेल्फ इग्निशन टेम्परेचर दैट मीन्स अगर फ्यूएल ये टेम्परेचर को एक्सपोज हुआ इट इज गोइंग टू बर्न इज इट क्लियर सेल्फ इग्नेट इट इज सेल्फ इग्नाइटेड खुद से ही वो जलेगा ओके okay? right so what is happening again we will see what is happening in compression stroke inlet and exhaust valve are closed piston is moving from bottom dead center to top dead center thereby compressing the air so that the temperature of air it becomes greater than or equal to self ignition temperature of fuel so again at the end of compression stroke the fuel is injected by the fuel injector and there will be heat addition so heat addition it is taking place at constant volume is it clear okay now what is happening during expansion stroke abhi fuel burn ho gaya fuel and air is going to burn right so this high pressure and temperature gases it is going to push the piston with very high force with high impact so the piston is going to move from top dead center to bottom dead center thereby creating again the power which will drive your vehicle okay again position of pistons are same they are going to be closed okay see other working are same that the how the piston is moving okay you should be able to relate working of si and ci engine so important points are these are the important points you have to remember okay otherwise the working is almost similar okay so during expansion stroke what is happening so high pressure and temperature gases they are going to put the pressure so it is going to push the piston from top to bottom dead center so thereby it is going to create the power which is transferred to the wheel so your vehicle is in motion right now During exhaust stroke, again piston is going to move from bottom dead center to top dead center. So, जो भी यहाँ पे exhaust gases रहेंगे, it is going to be sent into the atmosphere. It is called okay. So, this is how the CI engine works. Okay. So, to conclude this, let me remind you what you have to remember here. You should be able to remember what are the differences between SI and CI engine. You can note down. First thing is SI engine works on auto cycle, CI engine works on diesel cycle. Then fuel use in case of SI engine. Okay, or what we will do? We will uh, let me see whether I can share the whiteboard with you so that we will note down this. So these are going to be very important. Yes. Okay. Great. so let us do what is a difference between si and ci engine this is going to be a very important point for you so here you are having si engine si engine and here you are going to have the ci engine so si engine basically these are what these are the spark ignition or these are what petrol engine now ci engine these are what compression ignition engine
compression ignition engine or diesel engine now si engine works on auto cycle this works on diesel cycle diesel cycle now who is supplying the air fuel mixture during suction stroke you are having a carburetor here you are having a carburetor to supply air fuel mixture to supply fuel and air okay now here there is no carburetor so who is supplying basically the fuel you are having a fuel pump here fuel pump to supply fuel to supply fuel is it clear now during suction stroke air plus fuel mixture it is coming inside the cylinder only air comes only air during suction stroke is it clear now next point you can write you are having here spark plug okay you know what is the function of spark plug here no spark plug and what you are having here fuel injector you know what is the function of fuel injector right now you have to remember compression ratio we have seen it is 5 to 10 compression ratio here it is 15 to 20 why high compression ratio because aapko temperature jo produce karna hai air ka usko compress zyada karna hai so that your temperature rahega it is self ignition temperature of fuel right okay then if you talk about the speed basically so si engine they are these are high speed engine so speed these are the ci engine are low speed engine then if you talk of the weight if you compare the weight so si engine these are lighter in weight okay these are the heavy then the initial cost so initial cost it is low in case of si engine it is more but running cost of course si engine high and the ci engine is less and the last one we will talk about efficiency okay let's check this spelling okay so si engine they are having the low efficiency due to low compression ratio okay so compression ratio basically it is low it is high so due to higher compression ratio efficiency is high so i hope with this whatever required for your exam point of view it should be clear to you you have to remember the differences you have to remember the basic terminologies and how the working of petrol and diesel engine is taking place right so hope you have understood all these points clearly and hopefully this is going to help you a lot for your exam preparation so this will be the last video from unit 2 as well now the unit 3 videos will be uploaded after this so please stay with this channel i will try to complete the syllabus as per your exam right and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do it and hit the notification bell so that whenever i am uploading a new video you will get the message of it and please do share with your friends so that they will also get benefited and please keep supporting me thank you